Provena United Samaritans Medical Center Foundation welcomes you to the Festival of Trees 2008 and encourages you to believe. A very special thank you to our title sponsor, the Julius W. Hegler II Foundation. Thank you, Julius W. Hegler II and Lois Wise, for your wonderful support. Watch Fire Signs by Timomatic. We proudly welcome and thank Timomatic as our new title sponsor for Festival of Trees 2008. Thank you for believing. I believe, and I think you'll agree, that the community and the medical center have created a dynamic partnership. We can't exist without each other in the dynamic community with which we've come to know. The community is dependent upon the medical center to stay present and to stay vibrant. And for the medical center to be able to do that, we need your support as a community. The best thing about our, about our hospital is the staff. The staff here at Provena United Samaritans Medical Center really are what makes a difference in the care we provide to our patients. I really do love our place here. I think of it as a place where we can live our mission of building communities of healing and hope in the spirit of Jesus Christ. And we're all in this together doing the same thing. After the surgery, my stay at Provena, um, I have to say, as miserable as I was health-wise, uh, they made me as comfortable as possible. Uh, and it was a good experience. Even though you're ill, it, it was a great experience. Came in for chemo, and it certainly was not like a clinical situation. It wasn't the sterile, austere environment that you would think at a cancer center. The girls were wonderful. We called them our angels, our oncology nurses. We promote it quite well because we certainly believe in it. I'm a living example of it. Well, I couldn't think they could have done much better than what they did. Of course, I had a lot of experience with the hospital, and I got to say, in general, the hospital has been good to me, me and my wife both. Normally, if I had been on my own, I wouldn't eat breakfast or dinner, but the nurses made me eat because I was wanting to stay with Mary. More than generous, they got me a good meal. I didn't order it, but they fixed it up. Because I've been a heart patient, I knew about what the monitor, what, what it's used for, how it's used. It's something everybody don't need, but when you need it, you need it desperately. I bought that because I was trying to say thank you to the nurses. I didn't know any better way to do it than that. It was a very lucky incident that the heart scan equipment had been acquired and it just started pushing the heart scan. And I went through it and came out absolutely awful. And uh, they put me through a stress test. And the stress test was inconclusive. Uh, they said, well, we can't tell for sure. We're going to have to put you on the table and give you an angiogram. And uh, it was just shortly a week after that that I had quadruple bypass. I had no symptoms whatsoever. So the heart scan did the whole thing. It, it got me started and saved my life. And I'll not forget the doctor kind of leaning over and saying to my husband and I, you know, that she was perfect. And, and um, you know, there were two other doctors in the room, you know, that, that helped deliver her as well. And, you know, the entire staff, I mean, you know, when you know that you're going to be coming to the, um, the hospital to have a baby, it's different. But when you, it, when it was such a family experience for us, you know, um, I just felt really surrounded you know, by the staff that were so supportive through the entire experience and just very reassured. 
If you live in a community, you want to know that you have a medical center to rely upon. That's, that's number one. And you want to know that you have continuous care. We are so blessed, really, in this community to have all of that. I was overwhelmed by the response and the service I received. Uh, I became acutely ill at work uh, without notice very suddenly. I'd been feeling fine and uh, my doctor ordered me to go to the emergency room and when we arrived there uh, I was in arrhythmia and I had all kinds of problems going on. And the diagnosis was sepsis, uh, which I knew nothing about, never heard of it. It's a, it's a blood infection and it's, uh, it's often fatal and minutes and hours matter greatly in that kind of a situation. I received what I would consider to be heroic care. Now, I'm not bashful in talking about it because I think it's important for people to know that care here is as good as it is anywhere, in my opinion. And I've had the fortune to sample it and test it and it's real and it's of untold value. Our staff not only provides compassionate care, but also state-of-the-art care. It is my firm belief that uh, with that the Cancer Center, with uh, the assistance of the Foundation, uh, will meet its mission in curing some, um, comforting many, and giving hope to all. We've been established here in the community for many, many years, about 125, and we, uh, we will be staying here. We continue to support all the people in the community. The hospital needs the community as much as the community needs the hospital. From economic challenges to competitive challenges to the fact that we serve over 40,000 people through our emergency department at, at here, um, the hospital is committed to absolutely taking on those challenges and, and coming up with creative ways to, to better serve the community. Some organizations in the community, and there's just a handful of them, that are absolutely vital to a community's survival and viability. And a first-class medical center is right up at the top. It is so important to have a hospital for economic development. It is critical that we keep this hospital a very vibrant, healthy part of our community. So we need your help to be able to ensure that years from now, my grandchildren, all of whom were born here, will have this hospital still to be able to serve them. This community certainly needs this hospital. Anytime you have an option to say, you know, I can help an institution or an organization, I'd urge anyone to have the medical center right at the top of their list because I think it's so critical to making the community succeed. As a staff member of Provena United Samaritans Medical Center, I can't thank those of you enough that have stepped forward, partnered with our foundation, have made donations. You may never know the impact you're making on our entire community. The one thing that's absolutely certain is without the generous donors, those who have kept Provena in their will, who have kept them in their state, provided major gifts, have given us the opportunity to provide the quality care we've become known for. But without a high quality hospital in Danville, we would not be able to take care of this community. And I think you'll agree with me that a healthy hospital creates a healthy community. So for those of you who have generously given to the medical center, God bless you and happy holidays.